Hi everyone, Chris here. Um, <laughs> funny story, it's not about a pencil, I'm just holding a pencil because I like to, to hold things. Um, so recently I got a rash, well actually it started here, so I had this big patch of um, dry skin here on my lip and I couldn't get rid of it and I had it there for probably about six weeks and then I developed this massive rash across my eyebrow over this side here and then I started to get like a dermatitis here on my eye and so I went to the doctor and I after the eye one um, because I woke up last week I think it was Wednesday and my eye was actually swollen and it was really red and puffy um, and I had really blurred vision out of the eye hello and so I went to the doctor and the doctor was lovely. Normally I'm not a GP person. I just don't go to doctors unless I'm dying. And um, he was so lovely and he introduced himself and he made me feel really at ease. And then he said, we need to get some blood do bloods done. And I went, <laughs> um, me and blood tests aren't friends. So um, I know it's the life moments to do with the medical thing. And um, I just, something about, I, I, I don't like being touched in the inside of my arm or anywhere where you would get a needle um, so anyway I was like do you know what I don't get blood tests done there was a doctor who asked me to do it probably about eight months ago and he said to me your thyroid looks like it's quite enlarged I think you've got thyroid issues because I was always always tired so from that first visit with the doctor which was eight months ago um, I rang Sandra the founder of Peak and I mentioned to her, oh, the doctor seems to think I have thyroid issues. So Sandra doing what she was doing, um, she jumps on the on it straight away. And she didn't let me get the blood test. She just literally went into my thyroid and started shifting stuff energetically and releasing the life moments. And my Nana has thyroid issues. And um, anyway, so she worked on my thyroid and literally within moments, it was like 10, 20 minutes of her working on my thyroid. I was like, do you know what? That severe fatigue I have going on has shifted and I feel different um, so that was like eight months ago maybe six six or eight months ago and then I started taking um, two iodine tablets and I've been on iron tablets for a while so just trying to support the the immune and, and the thyroid function and that but everything seemed to shift after that 20 minute session that Sandra gave me after finding out that I potentially had thyroid issues so anyway, I went to the doctor the other day and he said, um, I've got a family history of um, psoriasis and um, shingles and hypertension and stuff like that. So he was like, oh, let's just check your blood work. And I was like, <laughs> so he said, make an appointment with the receptionist before you leave. He was so lovely. No, no GP has ever said to me, make sure you do this, please, and come back and see me. They're all like, here's the form. If you do it, if you do it, if you don't, I don't care. Whereas he was like, no, I need to see you again. Um, so he cared and that got me and so I went and got the bloods done and I was actually it was supposed to be a work day so my boss Sandra was actually at my house so I made her come with me to get the bloods glad I did because the lady spoke about um, some nasty eye surgery and it flared me up life moments and I literally had to get my boss to drive me from the medical center. I was in that room for a good 25 minutes. I couldn't get off the table. Every time I sat up, I would literally go, no, I'm still not right, and lie back down because I knew I was going to pass out. And then I came out and my boss said I still looked white. And then she had to drive us to the local coffee shop because I couldn't drive. And then I got out and I went to order and I, I almost passed out at the coffee shop. This is like 40 minutes after my bloody blood test. Hilarious. I know. Um... So then Sandra went into my layers after that. Uh, this is after about 45 minutes of me just not being quite there. And um, there was a lot of stuff in my layers. So anyway, cut that long story short. I went to the GP today and I was like preparing myself. Like my thyroid function is going to be out. I reckon there's going to be something to do with my iron levels. I'm, I just, I knew that there would be issues. And the GP sat me down. He's like, oh, so I've got your results here. And I was like, here we go. And they were all perfect. My cholesterol is a little bit high, which is because I don't exercise. So what I knew I needed to do, I need to step up. 
anyway, which is making sure, and I may need to make sure I don't just go for a leisurely walk with the kids. He said, um, make sure you actually sweat. I don't like sweating. There's some life moments surrounding that, but we'll, we'll deal with that. Um, and make sure your heart rate gets up at least two and a half hours a week. And I went, huh, two and a half hours a week. Where am I going to fit that in with everything else? But I need to do it. So I was absolutely blown away that my blood results came back normal because I swear to God, hello, um, that my thyroid would have had issues and it doesn't. Thank you. The biggest thing of the day is that we ran a Bali retreat in the end of August early September and I came home I think it's about the 7th or 8th of September and my cat had dropped a lot of weight he wasn't eating his biscuits anymore um, he had big spots in his eyes I'd taken photos of it my kids were literally I've got photos and videos of my kids saying goodbye to him and I said I think we're gonna have to put Ducky to sleep so we were having the rest I think I flew home on a Tuesday night or something and I thought by the that weekend by the the first or second week of September that would be it he couldn't move he was very listless um, he couldn't jump up on anything um, he was in pain he was hardly walking he was just literally eating and then lying down all day and all night he just he, he couldn't do anything and Sandra came over um, who's the founder of, of Peak International and she fried the absolute bejeebas out of him so he sat on her lap and she ran energy and she went through his layers and did a whole pile of energetic stuff that she does I don't even know what she did um, but she did what she does best which she doesn't even know what she does and he went into a massive massive healing crisis and I thought right this is it for three days I think it was he was just so bad he was just so lifeless and I thought okay once the kids are with their dad on the weekend I'll, I'll take him and, and we'll say goodbye and then he came good and he's been really good and he's started jumping back up on all the furniture including the dining table um, and just sitting there while I was working staring at me like hey mum what up um, he's an indoor cat now so he doesn't go outside but he, he just has his spots where he lays all day um, still jumping up on the beds and I switched him from wet uh, from dry food to wet food and now he has two cans a day and he smashes them down and I'm like okay um, so he's been a bit I don't know off um, lately and I thought oh he's getting old and you know I'll just I'll take him to the vet so I went to the vet $400 later mind you um, I the vet checked his heart and she checked his temperature and um, we all know how that happens don't we and um, I'm glad they don't check our temperature that way let's just say um, and then what else did she check oh his weight and I said oh he's dropped a lot of weight and she said he's actually a kilo less than this time last year because last year this time the cats next door had a fight with him and he had a massive open abscess on his back and I went huh like no he's dropped a lot of weight and she goes no he's a kilo more than when you were here last year and I went how is that possible so obviously he'd overeaten and he just is a big cat um, he's over there cleaning himself um, but I got full bloods done and I just had a call from the vet and I have been preparing myself to literally I know he's he's tired and he's old and he's he's got issues so I was like okay I want to get full bloods done so I know I had a feeling his kidneys were failing and that um, he, he had a heart murmur 12 months ago when he went and it was really it was really evident as soon as she put the stethoscope on duck she went wow he's got a really big heart murmur so anyway the vet just, just rung me and he is completely healthy like I I am in shock so she she actually I'm gonna read out what she what she told me because I had to write it down because I didn't believe her so his glucose is perfect there's not even a chance of diabetes his kidney levels are like amazing for his age his liver's perfect um, his T4 so they did his thyroid and she said oh he may have thyroid issues perfect and then um, because I had to do a slow bleed because I couldn't find a vein it clotted a little bit so they had to do a smear test 
um, for the platelets. And so she said they they check the platelets twice because the first result they they wanted to basically double check it because they weren't sure, um, and they were perfect. Um, and <clears throat> then she said when she got the stethoscope, she she checked his heart rate for probably a good. I mean, I was in the room with him probably a good minute maybe even two minutes like she was there for a while and I was just patting him um there was no heart murmur what the hell she said there may be a slight one um because he started purring while she was listening but she said 12 months ago because it was the same same vet that saw him 12 months ago and she she remembers him um, from all the notes she'd written and that, and she goes, as soon as, and like in the notes, it was like, as soon as she put the stethoscope on, she heard the heart murmur, and there was no heart murmur this time. So no heart murmur, no signs of anything in his body, and here's me going, hmm, he's getting on, he's he's got issues, at least, and I thought I'd have to give him kidney, like he's, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock, because he's cleaning himself in random body parts right now um, which I was gonna turn the video around but I won't you don't want to see that um, I'm in shock like a that my health is so happy so good and I said to the doctor um, you know like two years ago I was a size 20 and I said had I had bloods done then which I wish I had like duh crystal why don't you just do this stuff so then you've got bloody test results to go with it because that's evidence right everyone wants evidence give me the scientific proof that this works um, and I know for a fact that my thyroid was not functioning the way it should and I know that I was low in iron and I probably had other stuff going on um, because of my diet and my stress and everything else and my weight that I had two years ago but even eight months ago, I know that I had thyroid issues. I know it because as soon as Sandra did what she did with me, whatever it was that she did, um, that that heavy tiredness that I constantly lived with lifted. And it was just a normal tiredness, not an absolute overwhelming exhaustion that I lived with every day. Like I used to get up and I didn't even want to get out of bed because I was so I was just exhausted all the time. And if, even if I slept for 12 hours, I would still be exhausted, whereas that has gone. But the fact that my cat, who I have videos and photos of him literally with my children and my children going, oh, Ducky, you're going to go to heaven soon. Like, oh, I need to find them because they're really cute. But he was dying. My cat was dying. And now he's just perfect health. I don't understand that. But that is, that is what Sandra, Anandi Sanu, whatever you want to call her, my boss is capable of by just doing what she does, putting her hands on, well obviously she wasn't even with me I don't think when I had the thyroid thing, she did it over the phone. Um, but the cat, she had him sitting on her lap and just ran energy and, and shifted stuff energetically from him. But if that ain't proof, I, even I am in shock and I'm part of the business and I've seen this from the beginning and I know what I've experienced for myself and I know what I've seen shift in others who I have worked on and Sandra's worked on because I've always been around pretty much majority of everyone she's worked on and I've seen it for myself but to get those results like oh my god I'm 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 speechless Anyway, I just wanted to do a video because um, it's a really cool day because I was expecting, I've literally spent all day just going to my GP and to the vet, but um, the fact that both of us have a amazing clean bill of health is just mind blowing. Um, and I'm just so grateful for Peak and for Sandra. Um, Oh, it's making me emotional. Whew, squash that down. Don't cry on camera. Don't be that guy. Um, it's just, it, it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. And, and for this to be achieved, for me, what else is possible for anyone else? Um, you know, we all deserve to heal and we all deserve to be happy, healthy and whole is what Sandra teaches. And when you accept what has been given, 
um, and you allow the energy to, to do what it needs to do and, and accept that part of self, which I'm getting there, um, then things start to shift for you and shift in the physical, which your body starts to heal self. So clearly my cat in the space of three months has gone from being on death's door and unable to walk. Um, he wasn't eating and he wasn't definitely wasn't drinking, wasn't going to the toilet. Um, and he literally was, was lifeless is now has a clean bill of health. Like you can't get any cleaner than what he got. It's insane. And now he's lying really cute. I want to try and take a, a video of him, but there's, there's trip hazards. Hang on. Just excuse my messy house. I'll try and do it so you don't see it. Look. Look, he's just so happy. You got anything to say to the people at home? How you feeling? I know they put a thermometer up your bum, but that's how they have to check your, um, check your stats. All good? Look at him. He's happy, he's healthy, and he's whole.